All right, we're back. We're right around Bayou Side Marina in Chauvin. Showing you more damage of the area. You could tell the magnitude of the damage by the amount of debris on the side of the road. This area still has a lot of debris. A lot of roofs missing, roofs damaged. And here on the, we're gonna cross over uh, right here. And we're gonna show you some severe damage by the Grace Community Center. Some more damage here. This is Grace Community Fellowship, pretty much gutted. And as we move up, look at this. This is incredible damage right here, folks. This is trailers that exploded. And we should say imploded. Look at this tree uprooted. Powerful winds in this section of Terrebonne Parish. Look at this home. Gutted. No roofs on this trailer. Across the canal, no different structures going across. A roof down right here. A roof gutted right across. And then you have homes like on the left here that almost look perfect. And then 200 feet away on your side, Dwayne, and, and both sides, structures completely gone. Look at this trailer right here on my side. This is unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. We're gonna stop and we're gonna get comments. I see people cleaning that out. And I, I have to talk to them. Folks, I, I don't know if it can get much worse than what we're seeing here. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I saw someone here a second ago. I'm not sure if, if they made their way around or whatever. It's a shame what we're seeing. I saw a young lady in here. I'm not sure if they're inside this section. Or what? We'll check. This is incredible damage. You can just tell the massive force would destroy someone's home. Let's make our way over here and see if we can get someone to talk to us. It looks like whatever hit this area, the force was tremendous. I'm not sure if we see anybody. The homes in the back. Destroy. Just want to make sure nobody was in this trailer when this storm hit. Hello. How are you? Hello. Can we approach? All right. Thank you. I'm just trying to see where you are. I'm in the kitchen. I'm trying You're in the kitchen. Okay, hi. I'm in the Hello. Oh, my goodness. Martin Falls, HTV, how are you? I'm fine. Wow. Y'all sustained some serious, serious damage. And uh, how are you holding up? 
We're holding. We're, we do what we have to do. Who owned the trailer across the street? Donna LaBeouf and uh, Gail and LaBeouf. Are they okay? They're fine. They're fine. Were they in the trailer for the storm? No. Uh, no. Thank God. Yeah, right. Unbelievable. Yeah. And were you here for the storm? We were here. We were here, yeah. We what was that like? Was that? What was that like? Well, we left. We left early enough to get a... Um, we thought we left early enough, but uh, we couldn't find a motel. And when we did find one, it was not in a safe area. Something came up, and so we had to. We felt like we sh we had to leave. And then we came back home, and uh, the wind started picking up. And uh, I got in the hall, and my son says, uh, "Mama, get under a, a mattress." So I did, and he says, "Get out of the hall, Mama." I said, "Why?" I said, "I heard it's the safest place to be." And he said, no, he said, the house, that part of the house is not attached. You know, this is uh, 85 years old, this part, and the, the other side is just uh, an addition. Mm -hmm. So I did, when I came and I hugged on the uh, wood burning stove right there, I mean, it shook. It shook like a toy box. Mm -hmm. And um, then we all, we went down four feet, down, pow, like a bomb. It, it sounded like a bomb. Mm -hmm. And then we ran out, we got in our car, we sat in the back of our uh, shed that I bought early, a uh, few months before. And um, we stayed there and watched the debris fly all night. Mm. Yeah. Was it the worst you've ever been through? The worst I've ever been through. And I'm not staying ever again. When they say her king, I'm hauling. <laughs> I'm not staying. And, and can I ask you, I'm not trying to get personal, but what, what are you doing right now? I was looking up for some papers, some important papers that I needed, not realizing that, uh, you know, and then it um, looks like it's all gone, uh, it's torn. So yeah. I need to make payments, even, sto even though there's a storm, you know. Yeah. yeah. Would y'all like to see the back? Absolutely, if you don't mind, just to show people the magnitude of the, uh, the damage. The and right. I could tell you a very religious person, I see the... Uh, yeah. All the religious uh, gestures here in the house. Uh, I'm sure you were praying pretty hard during this storm. Oh, yes. Yes. Sure did. You could see the, looks like the floor just caved in. Did it come off of a, did, was it off the ground, you said, about four feet? About four feet off the ground. Four foot blocks, yeah. And it just, I mean, it just came down. It sounded like a bomb. You can go to the back, man. You can go around. I cleaned some. But, uh, wow. <laughs> this is incredible, Miss Lee Red. Yes, and we're going to make our way to the back. And is it safe for my cameraman to I'm walk? Sure. Okay. Right okay. Folks, this is to show you the magnitude of what a storm does when ceilings go off and water comes in. Wow. Miss Lee Red, did you have insurance on your home? No, I sure didn't. I wish I would have. Yeah. I so have. you've applied to FEMA? I did. Have, have I you had any response from FEMA yet? Not at all. Not yet, no. How long ago did you respond? I mean, did you apply? Oh, uh, how long has been the storm? I think a couple of days after the storm. Okay. Because we had FEMA on our program this morning. And uh, is there any way you can make your way towards the Civic Center? They have a FEMA trailer to check up on you. If you can make your way somehow that way, they could probably check on their computers. Because I know you don't have any power out here. No, no, we have no, we have no service out here. Okay. Hardly any phone service sometimes. Right. W what, what about the Civic Center? What? They have the FEMA trailer. And okay. you can go sit with them mm -hmm. and actually check on your case right there. Oh, okay. And they will okay. look it up. They gave you a nine-digit number. Do you right. still have that number? I have that number. Okay. Yeah. You tell them the number, they'll let you know. But if you don't qualify, I don't know who will. That's true. That's true. Yeah. It takes time, though. There's so many, you know. Yeah. It's been so many. Did you, is that your husband? No, that's my neighbor. Neighbor? Okay. Hello, neighbor. How are you? Uh, Martin Foss, HTV. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, not too good. Yeah. Too Had better good. days, huh? Yeah. yeah we, uh, we come and uh, still eat my mother-in-law's house. 
Is it that time then we go down Pornish Shay? Yeah. That's a friend's house. And what's your name? Galen. G A L E N Lamar. Okay. Y'all had a lot of damage too? Oh yeah. Look, 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 oh look, that's look. you right across. Yeah. My God. Uh -huh. I'm yeah. just my uh my little oldest youngest little girl lives in the house next door to Yeah. Yeah. I thought I saw a young girl in the trail a little while ago were my eyes deceiving me or Somebody looked like they were there. Hiding. Huh? They're probably hiding. <laughs> yeah. I know I wasn't going crazy. I saw somebody in the trailer probably looking for some important items, you know? Yeah, they clean it up. Yeah. Trying to get rid of uh, her boyfriend wants a two by four, so he's going to try to you know, get some two by four. Yeah. And, uh, How are you holding up? All right. Good job, out of print. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I'll let you catch your breath, though, for sure. But, yeah. Miss Lee Red, thank you so much for allowing us in the privacy of your home and just to show people uh, this is what hurricanes do, for sure, you know? Right, right, right. The reason this table is broken is my son pushed the glass off and tried to bust us out the door. But if you see, it's, it was caught under the uh, floor, right. so we couldn't get out, so we had to run out the front to get to the back. I can only imagine, though, what yeah. what was the sound of this thing as it roared past here? It was it, it was rough. It was, yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. And hey, look, go to the FEMA trailer, front okay. the Civic Center, and bring that nine-digit okay. number, and let me know how they treat you. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Y'all be blessed. You told them where we were during the hurricane. Yeah, she just told us. Yeah, right behind the shed. Yeah, so yeah, she I'll said in the, the truck. Shed. Yeah, she was behind. She put the car behind it. Then uh, her son come hollering at us, saying the roof is about ready to go off. So what we did, we got in the car, got behind him. We was gonna go across the street, but he hollered and we came. We came behind, put put the car. We put the cars against the building, <laughs> hoping they don't uh, the cars can stop from flying. This is incredible. Yeah, no. Folks, this is, this, is, this is what people have going on. So if you're in your home and you've been yeah. calling people and complaining about your garbage cans not being picked up, put yourself in issues, okay? Yeah. All right, we'll be right back with more. That was unbelievable. And, folks, I, I don't mean this to be coy, but for people complaining about the little things, about garbage pickup and all. People have lost everything. I mean everything. So think, before you make a call and you, you're inconvenienced a little bit, you got people that have lost everything. And they're lucky to be alive. Look across the street. They are lucky to be alive. And once again, when you ask me if I live in a trailer, should I leave? Yes, you should leave.